travel day. Travel, where's Nala? Where is that Nala? In this video, we were continuing our second season of the five planned summer-fall seasons of our Around America RV trip. The second season went from Florida to North Dakota through Michigan's Great Lakes area. After a short deviation from our originally planned route along the shoreline of Lake Michigan, we were returning back to the schedule. The second stop on the West Michigan Lakeshore was an upscale resort near Muskegon. It was our longest stop during this summer – 10 days. Therefore, we had plenty of time to explore and enjoy the area. We biked played golf, ziplined, went to the beach, visited the submarine museum, and more. Arriving at Duck Creek RV Resort on the right. Looks like if you want to go through, you go to the right. And I think we should not hope while we're here. Duck? Creek RV Resort is a family-oriented upscale RV campground located across the street from Michigan's Adventure Abusement Park. Therefore, the majority of campers in this campground are families with children. The list of the offered amenities there is really impressive. It's a private campground, but it, you can't buy lots. They don't sell lots. No, it's just campground, yeah. You're excited about mini golf? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play. Yeah, you like I mean, to play mini golf? Fun. Yeah, it's fun. Wonderful, wonderful. You know? We haven't had this campground that we've had here for quite a while, and I, I, that's what I like. I like sitting in my campground and relaxing and sitting outside. They're building it. Oh, I guess that means you can't do it. I mean, I know you're terribly disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> you can go on this. You probably like doing that, right? Giant sandbox. <laughs> yeah, I think I would prefer that. <laughs> yeah. You want a pizza? You want pizza tonight, honey? Build your own, right? I'm happy with pizza. Okay. Uh, what kind of toppings do you have? Look at the happy camper, you might like it. Pepperoni, sausage, pepperoni, and mushroom. Yeah, that does look pretty good. Campsite? Best one we've had since we dropped the motorhome off. What do you like specifically? About no rules. <laughs> no rules. You know, you go into these fancy campsites, no canopies, no tents, no dog bed, no dog fence. You know, so basically what you got is your awning. And I, I just think for charging a hundred dollars a day, I think that's ridiculous, ridiculous. And this one, we thought this was going to be the same way, but they allow you to do anything. All they don't want is they don't want you to kill the grass, which means don't put any tarps on the grass. 
um, but you could put up a canopy out on the grass. We actually prefer the concrete, you know, it's a much cleaner environment so we don't trash the motorhome. They don't want you on the grass at all, so we just carved out about a six square foot section for the dogs to pee, and they didn't seem to have a problem with that. They came out twice for our electrical issue, and uh, the first time it was actually their issue, and the second time it was more my issue. But nice guy, we met Adam. He's the site superintendent. Hello, good afternoon. <laughs> and that's who I asked the questions on the rules. He says, oh yeah, you can do all this. We just don't want you to kill the grass. And I think that's more than fair. Um, also, th they've got a, uh, uh, a pizzeria and deli um, right on site. They're building a, uh, oh, what do you call that? A tunnel slide, a water, a water slide. You know, it, it's just, I've never really been in a campsite quite and like this. And pizza was a free delivery to this site. Yeah. And firewood was free delivery to this site. Yeah. It was nice. I, I mean, they really run a tight operation. It's really good. Wow, the jacuzzi is so big. Mm-hmm. What, Maska? You want to go to the pool? And they have an open pool over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned, the number of amenities in Duck Creek is remarkable, but the campground is very big and spacious and green, so it doesn't feel crowded or loud. They have even their own private little lake with a walk path, perfect for dog walk. I love this kind of forest. Where we are, it's, yeah, it's too open. We have such a nice private patio. Yeah, we do. Like this dog pen, it can take any shape you want. In our back inside, we felt very private and comfortable, and even secluded. I'm sorry, I forgot your I'm name. Jim. Jim, Jeff. Have we? Have we? Have we? No, said no. Jeff? I just no. happened to. I saw you on the one day, and we we're talking about you. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. We also met very interesting neighbors. Jim, a police dog trainer, and his beautiful retired police dog, Arrow. Your police dog? Oh, what can you do? Uh, drugs, tracking, fighting, people, protection, all the good stuff. Wow. So. Wow, it's Fun amazing. <laughs> Dogs are easy to treat. People are pain. Oh yeah. This is season two. Yeah, we have two videos on season two. Season two, and then we've got like yeah. what eight or nine on season one. Yeah, last year. Mm -hmm. We spent several wonderful evenings together. <laughs> Can you say everyone? No, what, no what? we we are Ronnie watching. and. Jim, Vicky, Tara, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm your husband, oh. by the way. <laughs> Thank you guys for having us. Anytime. Oh, God damn. What happened when a fire bites you? There you go. Oh, now you, you can't be on YouTube. Short. Firstly, we wanted to have a feel of the area and launched in a scenic drive that I planned with Google Maps. Geographically, Duck Creek RV Resort is located between two lakefront towns, Muskegon and Whitehall, on Michigan's beautiful west coast. Dog throw out here. Wow, wonderful.
this started from the White River Light Station. So yeah, this is one of the channels from White Lake to Michigan Lake. Oh, it's beautiful, right? Uh -huh. White River Light Station. I think that's part of the museum. Mm -hmm. It's still functional. It is functional. It is functional. Mm -hmm. Such a beautiful area. Beautiful Sylvan Beach. It's less popular because uh, there is no lifeguard, there is no restrooms, but it, it's wonderful. We love wild beaches. Do you like this beach? I love this beach. This is my kind of beach. Yeah, mine too. It's only, it's only missing one thing. What? Well, you, you'll have to guess. Uh, lifeguard? No, I don't want a lifeguard. Restrooms? Don't need a restroom if there's no people. Bar? <laughs> that would be nice, but that's not it. What else? <laughs> I, I give up. Let's try one more. Give me a hint. Um, you don't have that problem when you're in an ocean instead of a lake. Oh, there's no waves. No waves. No waves. No waves. Oh. Well, unless you call that a wave. I don't <laughs> call that a wave. But this is kind of my beach. No waves. <laughs> Marska's <laughs> worried. He wants to get up there with you. Marska! Marska, are you worried about mommy? Oh, you worried about mommy? Oh, no, this is not so much. Daddy! We're together! It's not, like it's, a, it's not like New Jersey. Remember how crowded New Jersey was? Mm-hmm. Especially on like a holiday weekend. That's cold. I know. Two little dogs. Wow, you got it here? Oh, yeah. Wow, what That's kind of fish bass. it is? It's a black bass. Large one. Yeah, I think they call them in the south, they call them black bass. Wow. Yeah. Which is where I caught them all down in Texas. Then we drove through North Scenic Drive to Muskegon State Park North Channel Pier, which was really beautiful. But at first we had to jump the Broncos battery again. After being jumped so many times, the battery got shot. Mm -hmm. We needed to fix this issue as soon as possible. And the more times that I jump it, the more shot it is. That's why you don't get anything out of it now. You're gonna do it every time. North Scenic Drive turned out to be just the name of the street along the shoreline. Nothing spectacular. Continue on North Scenic Drive for 10 miles. So you don't see anything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is, where, there's no scenery. This is supposed to be a scenic drive. No it's scenery. scenic drive, too. Speak. No, no, definitely not. Oh, there's the uh, submarine museum. I wouldn't mind going to that one these days. Three subs. Which one do you, would you want to be on? 
the big one. I mean, to, to go one. as a museum? No, just to go on. Uh, no, <laughs> none. To do your service to your country. Excited to go to there? I am. Me too, actually. Moscow, where are you going? Where are you going, Moscow? Muskegon Lake. We found a wonderful brunch place in Muskegon, Toast and Jams, 1950s style diner with Route 66 mural. Great food and service. He's playing with water. This is for drinking, not for playing, Marcia. The water is for drinking. Yes, good boy. Drinking water. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's cute. He's got a mind of his own. We did go to the submarine museum the next day. This is the first uh, control panel. This is where the people that steered the first nuclear sub ever built. This is what it looked like. Nuclear power, the, the technology that it's so old. Captain's quarters. That's his. He had a single bed and a desk, and he also had a depth gauge and a compass and a compass. Okay, now I think you're in the mess hall. This is the canteen. That boat's older than that boat. Wow. 1927. Guess what state? I don't know. New Jersey. Mm. Initially created to enforce prohibition. <laughs> and now that, it sank a Japanese submarine. Of the, US, of the Coast Guard is? To patrol the borders. Yeah, guard the border. How does it feel? Did you like it? Oh, it's a wonderful museum. I could spend another two hours in here reading everything, you know, some of the stories that they tell. How is the water? It feels good on my feet. <laughs> but I think, I think I'm not gonna get my head wet. We also went to the wild beach that we liked during our scenic drive earlier. I might wade up to my knees, but other than that, I think it's a little nippy. Nice clear area right over there, close to the beach, close to the water. Mm -hmm. Can we find the warmer part of the lake? Sylvan Beach is a hidden gem, beautiful and secluded. 
think Lake Michigan is ever warm, really. Wow, it's always like that, the lake? I don't know if it's always this cold, but I don't think it gets much hotter in July and August. This is all? Hmm? This is all that you can do? <laughs> the swimming season is opened. Officially. In Michigan. Even if we're not swimming. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> the water is cold. Do you really want me to do it? Yes. You will feel so good. Promise. Sure. <laughs> right now, you're probably feeling much better now. Your ankles get numb, don't they? Uh huh. Whew. It looks like you've taken a hard fall. I'm okay. Tell everyone that I also did uh, two swims. I, I didn't. I didn't see any. <laughs> I was trying to get you to go in with me, but you wouldn't. I was making history. Muskegon area has a lot of wonderful biking trails. Right behind our campground, there was a highly rated road biking trail connecting Whitehall and Muskegon, the Fred Mayer Berry Junction Trail. Duck Creek RV Resort is located right in the middle of this trail. What a nice trail! Huh? Nice trail. Very nice. It's early though. How's your bike working? What do you have it on? Sport. Tour. Tour. Tour? Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I lazy? No, I've got it on sport, which is one more. Ah. But I'll put it back down to tour if you're on tour. You want to stay up to Stegan Glacier Trail, correct? Yes. The trail connects to the Muskegon Lakeshore Trail at its southern end. Lake Michigan. <laughs> do you like the view? Yeah, I do. Okay. Going a little bit along the lake, yeah. and then it turns uh, back on the other side and go up. To go back where? Mm -hmm. To go home? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Go ahead. Dunes. 
dunes. They should, too bad we don't have the Bronco. You can go right up it. These two trails combined got us from our campground to Lakeside Cafe in Muskegon for lunch. About 20 miles round trip. Biker bar. I hope I get out alive. <laughs> we liked and enjoyed our campground very much. The only downside was the absence of good restaurants in close proximity. The only available option nearby was a local bike pub. For a fine dining, you have to drive 20 25 minutes to the nearest towns Muskegon or Whitehall. Pretty. How do you like the menu? I love the menu. I love the restaurant and I love the view and the service is already starting out to be outstanding. As you probably remember, the electrical part of our flat towing system was not properly installed initially, which was the reason why Bronco's battery ended dead every time after being towed and we had to jump it. No start? No start. Last time, no start. <laughs> Last time, honey. Hopefully we'll never have to use this again. Oh, what a fancy start do you have. Oh, it's, yeah, isn't it nice? It's so much more convenient than the last one. You think it'll work? It's already started. We fixed this issue later in the trip, but it was too late for the battery. It was short and had to be changed. This is our regular routine since uh, like uh, for about two weeks now. Yeah, it's good practice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get good at it. Yeah, this is all the flat toe stuff. That's that's what okay. I think happened. Yeah, See, when they wear it what, what's that, what that's saying is, is that the battery's getting charged because I disconnected this. If I okay. take it off, it'll, then it would go red. The good news is the battery uh, tested failed. Okay. Which means I get it replaced under warranty, even though I did it to it. Um, and uh, But he didn't have one. So he has to get one from another Ford dealer. So Monday's the day. But we can't take it any longer. We're on our way to Silver Lake. We're going to take our chances. Oh, you'll have a blast up there. You ever been up there? No. No, first it's time. a lot of fun, but I, here's the only downfall. You what? Are, you are going to find sand everywhere for the rest of your life with that truck. You'll love it. Ah! But you'll have sand. It doesn't matter what you do. Because, like, when someone, it's awesome. Do you have a flag for, oh, you yeah, have you have, have, yep. yeah, you have to have a flag. Yeah, they have to say, yeah, they don't let you on without the flag. Mm -hmm. they, yeah. they don't let you on with any alcohol. Don't bring any. Beers. Silver Lake's no alcohol. No either. alcohol. Don't bring any beer in the cooler. They'll make you dump it out before you even can enter. And they check the coolers. And they stuff. do. Yeah, which is a bummer because I like my beer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't necessarily like what's, it. What's off-roading with it? Yeah. <laughs> Another lobby. Yeah. 
Right, and so yeah. It's, it's white beer. Come on, yeah. give me a break. Yeah, no, they they don't play. It's always nice having some local knowledge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Up yeah. Up there and go down and see the lake and yeah. go up and down there and yeah, and have fun with it. You anxious? You know. Anxious to go to yeah. Silver? To go down to 10 and 8, but I'm not taking it down to 10 and 8. Uh, not the first time out, and not, not having a compressor might be problematic. Have a good time. Thanks. What, honey? I'm a little stressed right now. So far, so good, honey. We haven't got stuck yet. I wouldn't want to be. I wouldn't want to be here with full tires. I can tell you that. We're sticking a little bit now. Like you talk to even more now. Yes. Yeah, so cool. Are you excited, The weather was not great that day. It was very windy, and the forecast promised rain in the afternoon. So we decided to spend some time on the beach first. Now, riding part. I think I'll let these guys go first, you think? Mm -hmm. I think that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Just follow them. No, I would do it not that steep. No confidence. No. No. Low, low confidence, honey. Yeah. Watch you see how easy this does it. Doing this. <laughs> it's a little scary. What if something's coming up the other way? Wow. Can you can you stop it here? Uh, I will make a couple of pictures. Wow. Wow. You know, we'll be here for five days. I'm sure this place will be pretty freaking empty during the week. Careful. Got it. Okay. Like he's stuck. Well, we're not going there. We're not? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Have a follow-up pickup truck? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We could do it. If that pickup truck can do it, we can do it. I don't know. Yeah, sure you do. Okay, you want to try? Yeah. What if we stuck? I got a winch somewhere. Now what 
you think of the Bronco? Directing on traffic, no turn, good. Now I know. Nice to have a really nice hot day, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. It's fun for about an hour, right? Uh, five I mean, minutes, the, five minutes for me. Five minutes. <laughs> you want to go? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. We're me okay. Too. You know, okay, I know where to go. Yeah. So we'll go wait. over. This way. Somebody. Excuse me, guys. How do you get out of here? <laughs> Hotel California wants you to check in, man. <laughs> <laughs> you never check out. Correct. Wonderful. Yeah. Is it always this much fun? <laughs> yeah, first time ever for me. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Thanks. Oh, how beautiful. They're in the vehicles. Yes, they're the right. Fun. You liked it? Yeah. No, I'm serious. Did you really like it? But you, but you know, we've done enough, right? I liked it very much, but uh, I liked it because it's a very beautiful area. What's the third version, Ella? What is it? Hey, you too. Have fun. Wait, this is the first time I've ever been off roading. This is utterly stunning. <laughs> up a couple big ones but nice. we didn't go we didn't go up the biggest the one best. i just didn't feel the need <laughs> <laughs> but i'll tell you that the bronco's unstoppable ah they're nice vehicles yeah i mean the technology and the front and rear lockers you know makes it makes it easy and it's push button there's no mechanical yeah. messing around that's awesome did you get stuck anywhere uh well i wanted to hit the first at the beginning hill. oh and then you just had to back down it uh, and then i backed down and then i went right over oh, it again that's awesome. and then that wasn't even the biggest one i went up yeah. Matter of fact, she's saying, I don't think you should do it. I don't think you should do it. I go, it's too late, honey. We're halfway up. So, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. That's yeah. good. I'm glad you had fun. And now, like I said, good luck vacuuming sand for the next eight years. You know, I don't think we did too bad. Oh, well, you wait till you start uh, like, going down the <laughs> What happens is it gets in the sand and gets out in the nooks and crannies. And you're like, oh, it's not that bad. But when it's going down the road and starts vibrating, yeah. it, it comes out. Of, uh, you know, it, it's awesome. Yeah. I would, I, it's well worth it. Yeah. Oh, I think so. Yeah. I, did, I didn't buy it to be an asshole. Yeah. And that's called beauty. Yeah. So I when thought, are you going back up there then? Uh, well, we're going to be, uh, we're actually going to be moving to a, on Thursday we go to a campground closer to Okay, so then you'll, you'll go back out on there. And yeah, stuff. yeah. Just the idea of just driving right up to the beach, having lunch, walking the dogs on the beach. It was just, it was just a beautiful spot. We had a couple more days left in this campground filled with more fun, zip lining and golfing. So this is uh, another way to take you to dunes, uh, avoiding hiking. Avoiding the dune. They're avoiding so the hiking the on the dunes. So it's over the dunes, but there's going to be zip line. So we did the truck dune rides. So now it's going to be zip dunes ride. You're going to report me. No. What? <laughs> Why not? You want to be the only star? Excited? I am. And we're going to grab our shoulder straps. Go ahead and pull those up far.
Did she say that this is the longest in the Michigan? She did say that. Mm -hmm. Just leave it on, honey. No. If you want to get it, you've got two more coming. Who's talking? I'm talking. Filmmaker? <laughs> well, I'm thinking about firing you and hiring me. Scared. No, I've done this. Been there, done this. No. You? No. Anyone else? No, you've never done this. One, go for it. What are you doing? Just fly. Are you crazy? I'm a butterfly. Have you seen what have you seen what it is? I'm a butterfly. Yeah, well you're not gonna feel like a butterfly. No? No, you feel like a fish out of water. You can grab up okay. here, you can grab anywhere. You're hooked to a safety yeah, so you won't scary. go anywhere. I know it is nerve wracking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're doing great. One All right guys, are we ready? Here mm -hmm. we go. In three, two, one, have fun. Go. Nice. And three, two, one. Nice. Nice. Hi, honey. Am I still filming? Yeah, I can't come over there. Grab on for me. There we go. How's your ride, Anastasia? Great. Good thing I'm Much better. <laughs> now that you know what's going on, right? What do you think? 65 seconds. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, it's very short. I, I, I expected us to ride over the dunes, over the sand. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Much. Guys do a great job. Thank you. Have a good one, guys. Thanks. Clubhouse. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Not many Michigan golf courses are situated so close to the Lake Michigan shoreline, but Old Channel Trail in Montag is one of them. Off to our adventure, honey. Our golf adventure for today. The classic course has been described as having stepped right out of the Great Gatsby with three nine-hole courses each designed by master architects. That's as good as I can hit it. First right out of the gate. I love this course. I do too. The, the smell of pines and the fruit trees is just makes me. I love it because I'm two seven. I'm too over car. <laughs> okay. Oh, two steps. Right near my bowl. Mm -hmm. Hope it goes in for you, honey. Honey, that birch is almost as white as they are in Russia. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can't wait to go back and see the real white birch. This course was built in 1926 and it opened for play in 1927, and you can tell it by the age of the trees, they're huge and big and beautiful. I'd be just as happy on this golf course as I am founder. Mm-hmm.
Good pot? Yeah, it's a little good pot. Maybe got a 10 footer. I've never seen a grass bunker. Is it your ball or mine, darling? Uh, what color is it, honey? <laughs> I'll guess give you a hint. What and, color is I it? I guess it's fine. Bye, Arrow. <laughs> Bye, Arrow. <laughs> Bye, Jim. Yeah. Not that, not that Arrow's first. Yeah, no. <laughs> Thanks again. <laughs> yes, anytime, anytime. Thanks for all your help. Yeah, yeah you're welcome. Yeah. You, you, you gave me uh, your phone number, yep. too? Yeah, it's in your phone, yeah. so. You know, it, it's, we leave these camper towns with, you know, short-term such good friends. Yeah. You know, and it's hard to keep in touch. But, uh, yeah, if I'm on for down Sarasota way, I will definitely look you guys so, up. You're wonderful. Florida, just, uh, uh, you and your wife are welcome anytime. Thank yeah, you. yeah, we'd love to see you. Okay, I'm I'm following you. We were relocating only 35 miles away because, as we mentioned earlier, we wanted to spend a couple more days at Silver Lake Dunes, riding and testing Bronca on the sand. See you there!